Hey you guys. Alright you guys, I am going to sit here and play with some product that I purchased probably a year ago, but in searching because I'm having to go back at least nine months, okay? So at least in searching, you know, I found that we have these blending tools and I know I have the little brush tool that Tim Holtz have and you can actually unscrew it. It works like a, almost like a, I wish I had it here with me, a um, cosmetic brush. So if you turn it, you take the top off, you turn it and this part comes out. But this, this is pretty much, I don't know if you can see it. Let me try with the, the good thing about this is you can actually use this to yeah, distress or ink your edges. Um, and this is good for uh, your hmm, distress to distress your edges. But you can use something like a cosmetic roll. I would use this, but then when the Distress Oxides came out, I thought it was good to have one for each color, which could be expensive. So what you might want to do is get you a microfiber cloth that you can dab this out with to clean it, and you can use it with the other colors. But if you don't, don't use the same ink on a different ink pad color because then you contaminate the ink. But, and seeing that I also saw another product and I'm not, I'm not comparing it or maybe I am, uh, but I'm not saying that this is not a good product, um, but it is these cosmetic brushes and I purchased these initially for makeup. And then, as you can see, these brushes actually are already in the crafting community but you can actually get and I think they said and I didn't I looked up I came across it one day there was this uh, video that showed all of these as some amazing kind of brush okay and these are the smaller pieces but you get these 10 pieces and the small ones work really well because you can let me actually show you with this little teeny one now I think they're called amazingly wonderful uh, brushes you can actually isolate this uh, you don't have to use as much ink but you can yeah, um, and then if you want it to smooth it out, the larger the brush, the more area you have. You can do that, but I'm liking these blending brushes for different reasons. But I would not pay the price they want for these amazingly beautiful, uh, whatever they're calling these brushes, because actually get them from Amazon just like this this is another one that I purchased for crafting these are makeup brushes and they run no more than $12 yeah they're about $12 worth and you get them from Amazon so instead of paying $50 or $60 for them from a crafting community Order them from Amazon, you guys, for a few pennies. I think it's like $12, so um, I don't think that's stepping on anyone's toes other than the fact that I'm showing you where you can actually get the same brushes for a little of the price. All right, you guys, that is going to be my quick, quick video. Um, I guess it's a tip. Let's say it's a, let's say this is just, a tip yeah if you're looking to um, you know just kind of like antique some stuff 
this comes in handy. Yep, you're looking to do your edges. This comes in handy, as you can see. Yeah, so I'm just working on a piece of, of tracing paper because I have a project that I'm planning to do and I'm going to use the tracing paper. But that is right there my tip. Yeah, if you want the blending brushes, if you really like using them. And these are pretty, they're like, they're uh, pretty good brushes. They're flexible. This feels really good, yeah. But for $12, come on, you guys, $12, and all I can do is uh, stress, I'm, stress the fact that I'm just showing you a better bargain than the cost of the other brushes. So, yeah, that's my tip for the blending brushes and uh yeah i hope you find that useful tell me if you use them if you like them yeah what's the deal you guys okay so this is going to be my video for this morning i'm hoping that someone could tell me something about the brushes that they use or if they use these brushes if they purchase the original i mean not the original if they purchase the crafting ones by um, what's that company? I forget the company even. But if you actually purchase them, tell me what you think. If the quality of these, the cheaper version, is anywhere near what you purchase. Or if it is the exact same thing. But there you are, you guys. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.